trouble if I don't actually lift the right hand. I'm okay. Um, I like to keep with my hands. First off, I'd like to give thanks to God. Yeah. Who is the head of my household has blessed me on every step of the way to Amen. be before you. I thank the pastor, I thank Christian, I thank the church. This is my second time coming here and being yeah. before y'all. Amen. Huh, this time just filled me with a level of just, I love the essence and the spirit that resides in here constantly. Yeah. Um, I've already started speaking, but my nerves are a little jittery. So would you mind if I just bow my head and center myself? Yeah. Before yeah. Go ahead. Dear Heavenly Creator, you woke me up this morning. Amen. There was no sun in the sky, and the rain clouds fell. Amen. But yet you gave me the day. Yes, Lord. I had a few things planned today, but Lord, I didn't know how they'd work out. I didn't know how the plans would go, but the beauty that I held within my soul was that you planned them. Amen. So I had faith that they would work out all right. Amen. I pray that for these next couple moments, the sounds that come out of my mouth are not my words, but the sounds of heaven. Amen. May my tongue not operate how I'm used to, but operate in the way that you needed to. All right. May when they look at me, they see past me and see your glory. Amen. For it's in your mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 I don't want to be up here if Jesus ain't up here with me. That's right. All right. Amen. 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 So we'll see. If Jesus will leave, I'll leave. I'll be reading from the third word of Jesus, John 19, 26, and it reads as follows. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he mm. said to her, Woman, here is your son. All right. And to the disciple, here is your mother. All right. Now, it's been preached in the past, focusing on that second half, when Jesus is talking to his beloved disciple, John. And at that time in history, women, their status in social and in social interactions was tied to a man. So Mary having lost Joseph and now losing Jesus, her status was somewhere up in the air. And so it makes sense that most theologians would focus on Jesus thinking, let me take care of my mother in this instance. Let me make sure that she can still have the life that she's lived for all these years. But then I started thinking, imagine what Mary heard whenever Jesus said, woman, behold your son. Mm. It's often interpreted that Mary would turn over and look at John and say, okay, this is my new son. That's right, that's right. But no, I thought about it from my mother's perspective. Come on, come on. See, if I was hanging up on a cross, beaten and bloody, there's no way I can tell my mother, look at somebody else and say, that's your son. No, she's going to look at me and say, that's my baby on the cross. That's right. We saw our Savior, we saw a man beaten, bloody, bruised on every inch. Yes. She saw her baby. She saw her baby bump for nine months mm. that she carried while people snickered and spit at her. All right, all right. Cursing, saying that she was nothing. We saw a teacher and a messiah. She saw her little boy that she had lost in the market for days on end. That's right. She remembered the moment when she finally could hold him in her, her, in her arms once again. All right. And she could finally stop feeling like the worst mother ever. All Nay, right. the worst person ever. Because how could you lose? The son of God. Mm -hmm. When she looked up on that cross, she didn't see the man that had been preaching his ministry for three years. No. She saw the man three years ago that left her house following his life, saying, Mama, this is the day we've been practicing for. All right. When I can finally go out on my own. Yes. All right. Mama, I promise you on that day, he said, Woman, behold your son. Mm -hmm. You know all I got to go and do. Mm. Jesus was a blessing to Mary. A blessing from Jehovah Jireh, the provider. And I use that name very specifically because originally when we see Jehovah Jireh, the first time that name comes up is in the Abraham and Isaac story. Now, Abraham is the grandfather, the forefather of our, of our faith and our religion. And so while at this time, Abraham was conversing and having a covenant with God and God was saying, hold up, I need a sacrifice. I need to know that you're really with this because I'm promising you generations on generations that you'll never see. So I need to know that your faith is set and your faith is secured now. Yeah. All right. And so God asked Abraham something a little scary. God asked Abraham to sacrifice his son. Mm. And it took all the way up until that point. Abraham trying to solidify himself in his faith, trying to make Isaac feel better, talking about we're going to have a sacrifice, but dad, what are we sacrificing? Uh -huh. And then in that last moment, 
Jehovah Jireh provided. All right. A sacrificial lamb. That's good. Yeah. That's right. Now that's, that's all great and dandy for Abraham, who got to keep his son that day. Yeah. Right. But Mary didn't. Oh, mm. That's right. See, Mary's blessing, the blessing that Jehovah Jireh had provided, her son and her sacrificial lamb mm. were one and the same. Bro. All right. Abraham could have never sacrificed Isaac. A man couldn't do it, so God sent a woman. All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. Amen. Because you see, since the day that Gabriel came to Mary and said, you're going to have God's child. Since that day, Mary was preparing. No longer would she have the son of Mary. All right. She would have the son of man. That's right. No longer was she able to live her life the same way. God was giving her an amazing blessing. Yes. And so Mary did what we're supposed to do when Jehovah Jireh provides for us. She dedicated. She worked tirelessly. Mm -hmm. Parents, you know, I did parents raise their hand. Parents, grandparents, guardians. You all believe your children are the most special things in the world. Even on their bad days when they annoy you and you wish you could give them to their aunt or uncle for the day, they're still special in some capacity. <laughs> Mary understood that Jesus was special. The first miracle that Jesus ever performed was out of request for Mary. So Mary had a full understanding of the blessing that she had in her life. Yes. She had worked for those 33 years to make sure that her baby was going to be prepared for that day. Uh -huh. And on that day, when she laid her eyes on her baby. I wonder if Mary knew. If I had to title this sermon, I would title it, Mary, Did You Know? All right. All right. Mary, did you know it would end up like this? Did you know your baby would be beaten, battered, and bruised before you? Mm. Mary, you may have known he was special, but did you know it end like this? Mm. Mary, did you know your baby would walk on water? She replied, no but I knew no situation could ever drown him. All right. Wow. Mary, did you know your baby would heal the sick? No, but I knew he didn't have a sick heart. Mary, did you know he would feed thousands? No, but I knew he was always hungry for God. All right. Mary, did you know that it would end up like this? Mm. Mary, did you even know that on those tireless nights, when you stayed up late, woke up early, fed him because you couldn't feed yourself. Mm -hmm. Did you know that when you gave birth to that baby boy with no home in a stable, that your baby would come back with the kingdom? Mm. Mary, did you know That's good. that the bruises and stripes on your baby's back would heal my soul? Uh -huh. Mary, did you know that the pain and the tears that you prayed away from your baby, that his name would steal the tears from my eyes. All right. Mary, mm. did you know yeah. that your baby boy, your blessing, the gift given to you by Jehovah Jireh would be the ultimate sacrifice, yeah. the yeah. ultimate gift that would save my soul and countless souls after. Yeah. Mary, did you know All right. that I needed your son as much as you needed him? Mm. Mary, did you know? Amen.